So today we're just gonna talk about how to prepare your um, fetal loss to go to the morgue. So first thing we wanna point out is that there is a perinatal loss resource binder located in the nursery in that first cubby underneath the first computer. This binder is a great resource. It has all the things about birth certificate, death certificate, what to do, um, and all of that in here. So two things we're gonna look at is one, if you open up the binder, there are packets. So this one happens to be for an under 20 week loss. It tells you what forms need to be filled out, who needs to be notified, and all the things that need to be completed. So it's a great resource. There is also packets for the parents with resources um, for follow-up. The next part that we're gonna talk about here is getting our baby ready to go to the morgue. And so what we do for that is we make sure that all of the mementos are anything that the parents wanted. So if the babies are in a special blanket, in a christening gown, um, if they wanted molds, that all of these things are completed prior to preparing the body. Once the baby's prepared and gone to the morgue, we don't like to take them out. Um, there's little hearts in the nursery, in the bin, um, that you can give to the parents for them to have as mementos. They should have the leaf on the door as a reminder that this is a loss, especially for transportation if they're picking them up. There are little cards that you can do footprints on for the parents. You can have as many as they need. And then the other thing is in <clears throat> the blue bag is where you're gonna put all these mementos so that the parents are leaving with all of these things in a bag that not everyone can see through like the clear plastic bags. Um, so that's an important thing. And it is a hospital-wide known thing that this is a loss. So once you have all of those things done and whatever mementos the parents want, then you're gonna move on to preparing the body. So we have all the items over here that you will need. So you'll need um, <clears throat> the body bag, which has the stickers in it. You'll need a remains sticker. You need patient labels. So if the baby was born alive or has an MR, you'll use the baby stickers. If the baby doesn't, you'll use the mom stickers. And what you wanna write on there is the gender of the baby if you know it, the date and time. So this would either be the death time or the birth time if the baby was not born alive and the week's gestation. You're gonna grab your coffin box, which comes in multiple sizes. So there's a lid and there's a bottom and then you need the purple sheet that goes in it. Now, if your baby is not going for an autopsy, you do not need a blaster label. You just fill out all these forms and send it. If the baby is going for autopsy, then there will be a surgical pathology in mom's chart if the baby wasn't born alive or in baby's chart if it was born alive and passed. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna move to our baby here who has one, um, band on. So your baby would need one band on and then we're going to prepare our labels. So you have these three. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the stickers that we've previously prepared and put one on each. Now if you have a small baby you may attach this to around the bracelet if it's around the belly you might attach it to the cord clamp or you can attach it to the foot so janina's going to go ahead and put that on the foot and mention what you put on the label we did oh okay so then the other thing is is this last label that we have here we're going to put this on the bottom of the coffin box there's a little slip that you can pull out and we're going to stick that right on there we want to make sure that every step of this baby is labeled so it's not misplaced or um, lost. Okay, so that's in there. So now we have the tag on the baby, we have the tag on the bottom of the box. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to sub out for this so it'll fit in our box. So our labeled baby, which is right here, mm -hmm. we're going to put inside of the box. So this is our labeled baby. We're now going to wrap the baby. So there's no set way to do it. But once it's in the purple, we're going to go ahead and lift the bottom and we're gonna take the top and bring it out. So now the baby's labeled, the outside of our box is labeled. Now we're gonna close the box. So it comes with the ribbons. So you're gonna have somebody help you just so you don't you know, drop anything and um, the babies can be very fragile. So we're gonna tie that. <clears throat> And now we're going to tie this label that says attached to the outside 
to the top of the box. While I'm doing that, Janina's gonna open up the body bag. So we're gonna put the whole entire thing into the body bag. Which is always like here. So again, you wanna have a helper so that you don't, you know, jostle the baby and you're respectful of it. So you're gonna push the baby into one corner. And then we're gonna go ahead and zip it. Once the bag is zipped, you wanna go ahead and like wrap it around so that it's nice and tight. So again, it's not shifting inside of there. You can use a piece of tape to kind of keep this um, on there. And then we're gonna put the infant sticker on the top. And uh, what I always do, I will ask the parents if they want me to do this in the room, sometimes they wanna do this part. So I love them and I stay with them. So you're gonna just take the tape and go around it so that the body bag doesn't just open and the baby gets like flipped. So then once that's done, you're gonna attach this orange label right to the top of your body bag. And then your last label is gonna go on top of there. And if the orange label looks like it's popping up again, you can just put some more tape on it. You wanna make sure that this sticker stays on there. Um, <clears throat> the last piece to preparing this would be um, to call transportation and they will escort us down to the morgue where the infant is then placed on the infant shelf. And then you're gonna chart all of your preparation in the uh, perinatal loss form in the flow sheets in Epic.